This is Vet Tales, the story of the world's only sailing veterinary clinic. With the boat on the hard for hurricane season, we are on a road trip to help animals in Mexico. You can help us by becoming a patron, giving this video a thumbs up, and sharing it with your friends. A special thanks to our donators and patrons who make all of this possible. puppies and two mum dogs um, and we're going to vaccinate them all and the three puppies are going to go into the program to be sterilized and we're going to find some homes for them too. Eva and Natalie managed to track down one of the mother dogs and she still had two puppies with her. One had already been locally adopted. Local builders have been taking care of the mother and puppies, ensuring they have food and water. The puppies needed their vaccines and worming and would soon be spayed before adoption. The mother dog, however, needed a lot more help. Today we were just going to give her her vaccinations, but she had been living with a very big eye, a condition known as glaucoma, for more than three years. This can be very, very painful, and we knew we had to help her. First, we had to gain her trust, and the easiest way is with food. I find a hands-off approach works best with scared dogs. Distract and inject. Both of the puppies were very sweet and cuddly, even if mum was a bit wary with us. But we're happy to announce she was eventually spayed and had that large painful eye removed. I continued doing veterinary outreach with Sandrine, who had a few special cases she wanted me to check over. One was a simple eye infection. We had that managed quickly and we're off to see more dogs. Big bond. We have Kissy yeah. Mimi. Oh, oh, she's so cute. You have so cute. You mum, dog, and little puppies here. This one's just been spayed by Surface for Strength. It's all healed up nicely. Um, and then one was pregnant. And so she's here with puppies right now. We might not be able to really check her over because she's pretty defensive. But we'll go see. Oh, let's just go right here. Oh, it looks like. Oh, oh. And so Croquette was hit by a car twice. So the first time it she had a jaw problem that healed by itself, and the second time Sandrine and Surface for Strays were coming regularly giving her medicines and they did like a physical exam of her leg with me on the phone basically and took videos and all of this and as you can see we we're pretty worried about it but you recovered because it was her front leg and her was it her back left yeah yeah, oh, yeah. Um, that obviously had some sort of fractures um, but yeah with love and care and medicine she's recovered very nicely yeah yeah go get that got a feel my dad I think that looks good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I think she looks good. Yeah. I wouldn't do anything. That's exciting. Doing outreach is a great way to connect with even more people about the importance of pet care and a really important part of what Surface for Strays does. Um, if ever he gets, um, he's only got one testicle, so when he gets castrated, yeah, yeah just the one. We checked over this lovely big fellow, who was looking very healthy, but when Sandrine first started his treatment for her lichia, he was a very sick dog. Oh. 
and since no chuff story is complete without a bit of engine drama. Well, Ben Rico made it a fair way. Uh, and just then we were driving and it was like a like, whoosh, and then like a smell of burning rubber. And it seems we had a um, band, uh, one of the um, belts um, ruptured on the thing. So luckily we were only like maybe four kilometers from this guy who sells tires. And he knows obviously about cars because he changes tires and he's getting a mechanic come hopefully with a new one. What should be really hard. So we're at the mechanic, we found the mechanic, we just had to drive the car a little further without that band, uh, belt in place. It turns out that the pump has actually seized, not just the band, and that's why the band broke. The mechanic says he can take the pump off and he thinks he can rebuild it so we don't have to wait to order a new pump because that could take a really long time. So fingers crossed, this will all be fixed soon. Thankfully it only took the mechanics around 24 hours to get everything going again. But as we drove away, our alternator gave out and we were sent down the road to the auto electrician to get that soldered up as well. Thankfully he had us on the road again for only $20 and in less than an hour. With Vanrico back in working order, we were off to visit the dogs at the Ziwa Tanejo Centre. Surface Distress has around 12 dogs at this centre and Jenny, the owner and carer, has many of her own rescues housed here too. Many of them are puppies that get adopted out quickly, but some like Lula have been here a few years waiting for her forever home. We began by giving each dog a quick check over and we reviewed all of their current treatments. Many of these rescued puppies were found with skin diseases like mange or ringworm and were currently getting medication. The puppies were also very helpful during their checkups. Surface for Strays ensures that all the puppies and dogs in the program are spayed or castrated before adoption. They also receive all of the necessary testing, vaccine, and treatments that they need. Larry and Lula are two very special dogs in the Surface for Strays program. As you can see, they have a serious skin disease and we haven't been able to get a definitive diagnosis with the resource available to us here. We suspect it's an immune related problem and the ultimate goal is to find them a medical foster in the USA where further testing can be undertaken and more advanced treatments can be trialled. They're currently taking medicine to help manage their condition and have been stable here in Mexico. See how like her gum is really high here? So normally the gum should be here. Yeah. So that's just something with her she may need it to be cleaned possibly to try and stop that from happening. I'm guessing it's probably got something to do with her skin condition. With the weather, as you say, the, yeah, the, the rain and... And sometimes it's probably just that they play together. That really makes it vasculite. That's what often you can These two are very special. <laughs> They're looking for homes if anybody wants special dogs. <laughs> 
The weather cleared up and it was time for us to hit the road and head back south to Chuffed. We're going to miss all of the dogs and people of Surface for Strays, but know we'll see them all again soon when we take Chuffed up the coast. Today we are driving to Kwaji. It's about an eight-hour drive. Um, yeah, on our way back to Chuffed. We covered just over 800 kilometers over two days, driving from Guerrero to southern Oaxaca. We just are driving past the school, reminiscing about the roadblock that we had here last time. This is the school. And it seems that they managed to get a deal with the government, so maybe the school will be getting redone a little bit. Jonathan Riley Smith found it interesting that during many early pre-torture interrogations Next episode, we get back to Chuffed, but we hope you've really enjoyed these special episodes exploring Mexico and saving animals with us. We couldn't do this work without our supporters and especially our patrons. You can help us help animals by following the links in the description below with ways to donate. Until next time, stay chuffed, everybody.